What's up, guys? And welcome back. I've long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Welcome to beautiful Pennsylvania. Look at these Pull colors these here. Strings, grease a few palms, Got some carnos incoming. Arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're gonna have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. Maybe a little bit we further. need some additional hands on this one. I'm just building some... some Mr. Lambert? Standing um, by and ready to go. Enclosures here. Just give the word. Make our life a little George bit easier. Lambert we'll be good to go. is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous catches that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Ah, Understood. so we do. We want to be. We want to be prepared we'll start here. Start with the construction of animal enclosures. I'm gonna make four of them. We'll Let's just do it. Them, you keep them. There we go. I'm gonna build them far away from the paths on this center point so that we can add some some viewing enclosures. But yeah, we're just we're gonna make we're gonna make four different pins, and then that way, as these guys come in, it looks like we've got uh, Carnotaurus first, and then. Maybe more after that. She said there might be multiple, so we'll be completely prepared. Nothing like being, uh, you know, ahead of the game here. So I'm gonna set uh, set this up right like that. We're gonna be able to do one more in this corner. I mean, this is gonna be the the cleanest, nicest setup I think I've seen. Just nice and simple. This one's gonna have to roll the uh, the edge of our property here, but that's okay. Bring it back down this way. To there. Alright. Looks good to me. Let's, uh, I'm gonna say Carnos, they definitely, well, first of all, let's get rid of some of these trees. I like the trees, but I know they're not gonna want this many trees. We'll, we'll put the Carnos in this, this first one over here. I know they like, um, I'm pretty sure it's sands. So we're going to do a bunch of sands. We've got 31 seconds. We're going to be quick. We're definitely going to do some water. I'm going to say let's do kind of like a little U-shaped pond over there. And then maybe like a little a little something right here. And then, of course, they're also going to want... These guys love their uh, their goats. They're going to want, to want prey. So you know, put one there and maybe one over here. And if we go into our uh, our facilities, we should be able to set this up. Nice little viewing platform. We could honestly just kind of pre-set up most of these. Uh, give me two two minutes. I don't want to delay anything. I just want to be fully prepared. Let's let's get all this stuff set up. Connect all of our paths. Your boy is is on it on it today. Let's make sure our thing is open so we get income right away. And it looks like we're good to go. I mean, we could add water to all of these. To be honest, one of them we could do a a big lake right in the middle like kind of mixing things up a little bit one we could do kind of like a little pond over here and then a very small one over in this corner this one we could have kind of like a flowy river through it all right looks like we need to add some uh some power so we're gonna want to connect these like this another one over on this side should connect the other one and i think we're good to go i think we're solid everything's got power we've got water i don't know what else we're going to be adding We'll add food and stuff later. I guess technically we need a uh, a gate here. So let's put a gate there. Beautiful. And we're solid. I guess we could do more paths along this way. Potentially add more um, enclosures over on the left and right if we end up needing more. But I think we're pretty set. Nice. Nicely done. Nice and organized. Good way to start things off. I mean, this this is incredibly beautiful out here. I uh, haven't spent a lot of time in Pennsylvania, but if it looks like this, I kind of want to. Could start adding some some rocks in here. You guys know I like my rocks. 
just kind of make things a little interesting. Transport these dinos. We're going to put... I'm pretty sure they're good together, right? I think they like a, a decent... Arrivals that will need food and housing. Population. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc. Perfect. I like putting shrubs and stuff around the water, just because obviously that's where they'd be getting their nutrients and stuff. All right, so we need to get our, uh, our ranger squad in. Let's come do a, uh, a little status check on these boys. It's like... You know, kind of claim in their territory. Cats actually do that. I learned that if you guys saw our camping in the pool episode. They like roll around on stuff like that to leave their scent. So it looks like that's what he's he's kind of doing currently. Looks like we've got a bit of an attitude, but if I was used to being, you know, out in the wild and all of a sudden I've got people in jeeps messing with me, I'd be a little upset too. Look at him checking them out. But be careful there, boys. Don't turn your backs on them. All right. So it looks like comforts at 100%, health, food, water, security rating, areas good. Honestly, a little bit close. I think he was about to charge our boys. That could have been bad. Uh, population's good. Water. Looks like they could use more water if they wanted. Praise good. All right. They, they are perfectly happy. We have seen lots of Carnos so far in this game, so they're usually pretty, pretty easy to take care of. Look at these big lizards, man. Just doing lizard things. Cabot mentioned staying out of arm's reach. Yeah, I would, I would say arm's reach here is, is not, not a, <laughs> a big enough distance. All right, so we've got, uh, they're safely enclosed. That's going to be our third task complete. Beautiful. Delivery of captured Allosaurus is incoming. Okay. Got two minutes to worry about that, but to be honest, we're kind of all pre-prepared here. Believe an Allosaurus is going to like sand as well. So let's, uh, I mean, we'll add some sand preemptively. I'm gonna put them in this one over here. Let's make sure our park is open. Yeah, it looks like people are coming in. So beautiful. Making some money. People are coming in. They're excited. Do we have any other operations or anything? Staff center expedition. I don't see anything we should really worry about too much. I will say we did, we, we left these people with a long walk. Like they, they walk in and you've, you've got to go all the way down this way to be able to get to all of our viewing platforms, which is not the ideal setup, but uh, hey, you know, sometimes it's, it's good to get a little exercise. Oh shoot, here we go. Oh, we bowing up. We're bowing up, baby, let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, oh, got him. Found the alpha. Just gotta mark his territory, let him know what's up. That's right. That's right. Stake your claim, man. Uh, I respect it. Okay. So, 15 seconds till we can add our Allosaurus. Thinking, thinking he'll like this one. I'm going to say let's add some rocks again. Uh, it is one thing. I mean, I'm, I'm a rock connoisseur. You guys remember Planet Zoo? It's, it's kind of my thing. Uh, I'm not sure I'll ever I wish we had more rocks. Comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Feel like the the decoration side of things just isn't isn't as as much as I would like. Do some leafy climbers maybe around this thing just to mix it up. I don't really know what they like, but uh, bam! All right, let's get to our uh, ranger team. I'm gonna add a task. Come on, get get out here. Um, come shoot until he lands. We won't be able to give me a status check on the Allosaurus. Of course, we're I mean we are a carnivore here, so we're gonna want to. Uh, Want to do some goat meat. Throw that down. So this one, this is the last one we did in our last episode. Kind of feisty ones. I don't know. I don't really trust them. They, they, these ones just seem very sly. Very conniving. Very smart. Almost raptor-esque. Look at how big those hands are, dude. It's crazy to think that these things once roamed the earth. Wow. <laughs> He does not like the headlights of our Jeep. All right, let me see what we've got going on in terms of, of happiness here. 
So, we're missing some forest. Don't charge my men. Definitely want some forest. So that's that's easy enough. I actually remember that now. So environment. We're gonna go to uh, to forest. And let's let's add it over on this side. This is such a beautiful area. I love all the, the colors and stuff. Alright. So forest uh, forest is good. 59%. Could honestly use even more if we wanted to, but um yeah. Alright. So Keep them at 80% comfort and, and closed for the next minute and a half. These two are just hanging out together. Doing their thing. Just look at the way he scratches himself. I really don't, really don't trust him. Just a very sneaky, con conniving. And then he sits down and he looks all cute. Now, now he looks kind of cute. He looks kind of inviting, but all in all. Don't trust him. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. Okay. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. She's serious about this, huh? I respect it. All right, so we're... We're gonna put both of these down. Is this the same thing? What is this here? That's a response facility. We want. How could? Does it look the exact same? Never mind. I had I had the wrong thing. So we want a staff center and a uh, a science center here. We're gonna connect these to our pathways. We're gonna be able to hire some new scientists and and get things going on. And a paleo medical facility. Paleo medical facility. Gonna be able to put this down here. Really spending a lot of money, but hey, it's gonna be worth it in the long run, baby. Connect all of these. So this is going to be kind of our, our research main, you know, the bones, the meat and potatoes of the operation over here. And then maybe do another pin or something over here. We'll see. All right. So all, all three of these are just about built. Bam, there it is. Lovely. Lambert here. We can Operational really use an expedition, expedition center. center. Get one built. Okay. I mean, I'm going to say, what if I put it right right here and we can do a little a little path like this just building everything we've got 2.4 million dollars we're still making money from everybody that's here in the park so it's it's working out for us looks like we've got two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars per minute profit so that's that's pretty healthy i'm cool with that we've only got two pins filled and a lot more space to go so things are uh things are looking pretty good okay Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. Okay, how do we do the exp... Ooh. Instant alert. Our operatives in the field have received an instant alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of St. Louis. Two injuries have been reported and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain... The threats. All right, let's let's go do it. Here we go. Gonna send um, my I guess Craig on it. She she gonna be good for this Ankylosaurus. Hopefully gonna be able to take okay, care of that. The good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a hundred percent win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, mm. and we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. All right. Sounds uh, sounds good to me. So let's go capture this thing and get him healthy. 
in the meantime, I mean, we've got we've got so much money. I don't know how many dinosaurs they're going to end up having as capture. So I'm I'm just going to make some more enclosures here, I guess. Let's bring this down. It's a little bit close. Should probably move it over at least just a little bit. We can have these guys go all the way down here. Then we can have this connect. We've got like a gridded city system going on. Which I don't, I don't mind. Make sure this is far enough away we can get some viewing platforms. Bring this guy down. Beautiful. And it looks like our dino is coming back in. Two Ankylosaurus are coming in from Missouri. Zero evaded. Perfect. All right, our scientists did a, a great job. I'm gonna move these guys into a uh, a unit that's pre-prepared for them. Now I, I believe Ankylosaurus. In a ranger post? I mean, ranger posts, we should probably set these up everywhere, to be honest. I'm gonna set one up right right there. And then we need to assign a ranger team to it. Beautiful. Ankylosaurus number one coming in here. Hopefully these rangers are gonna come hit this post. We're gonna get info on these guys. Health looks good. No other data. Second one is coming in, dropping him in the water. Sorry, big fella, not the best landing spot, but hey, you're awake, you're alive, you're good. You don't got to be scared anymore. You are in your own happy place. Don't move too quickly. Looks like they're doing a status check on him. This guy's got an undiagnosed ailment. Send an MVU to perform the medical scan. All right, so we're going to want, uh, where's our, our new medical facility? Science staff, paleo medical, mobile unit one. We're going to add a task. Let's go check these guys out, see what we've got going on. Looks like they both got issues, and then we should be able to transport them over. Be able to fix them up, get them right. How are we looking on happiness? Missing ground fruit. Uh, looks like area's good, population's good, cohab is good, more ground leaf and fruit, water, everything else is, is good. So let's come in here. We're going to be looking for... Hmm. I honestly don't know where you get ground fruit. Fruit and nut, Sicked Grove, this stuff, tall fruit, ground fiber, ground fruit. So we can add some of this for ground fruit, ground nut in here as well. How are we looking? Is that... Does that look a little bit better? Ah, leafy climbers. We want ground leaf here. You have to understand something. We really want ground fruit. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at now. life as much as any other living creature. A little more ground leaf. Honestly, perhaps even more. As the miracle of science gave them a second chance. So... This guy's like a messy in here. Find the cure and then let's use it. The dinosaurs die again. And listen, that's not going to happen. Okay, so I forget. Use EMV to diagnose. Once identified, research the right cure for a disease at the science center. Once researched, administer the cure with a dart from the MVU. Sweet. Okay, so we've got to research it. That's going to be our, our main thing here. We can't use the treatment bay. We've got to research it. So we've got our... Not that. Control, response, science center. Cryptosporidiosis on one and cryptosporidiosis on the other. So we're going to want to go to our science center. We're going to check out our research. We're going to look for uh, medicine. Tuberculosis. Where's Oh, cryptosporidiosis medication. We're going to start our research here. Um, neither one of these are very good with science. So I'm going to say, let's actually, let's look into hiring a new scientist. Recruit a new one. We're going to want somebody with, great with genetics, maybe? Well, welfare, probably. Six out of ten to five out of eight. I'm going to go with Olivia Morgan here. $611,000. Send it. Got it. And then we're going to be able to assign her to that research. So we're going to go into our medicine, cryptosporidiosis. We're going to put Morgan on it. She's a welfare specialist. And I guess two people start our task. Beautiful. These two bowing up again. Oh, they're getting ready. Let's go, baby. Come on. Give us a show. Give us a show. Oh, yeah. Not even actually touching each other. It's okay. Still, still pretty cool. Anyway, back to our enclosures here. Just going to go ahead and I guess finish these up. Run some more paths and stuff. And we've got we've got three million dollars, so 
we should we should be good to kind of do whatever we want at this point. Cryptosporidiosis is done. Let me finish this real quick. This is going to be a very small one over in the corner. I don't know if anybody's going to like this one, but we'll, we'll hope for the best and expect the worst. We're going to hop in our medical unit here. We are going to ride on out. Can we turn on, uh, we got any, you know, cherries and berries, any lights we can throw on? I don't think so. Watch out, people. I'm not trying to make any more medical emergencies, but I got to get to my dinos, baby. Oof, forgot. These guys like a, <laughs> they keep their room messy. It's, it's not good, but here we go. All right, we're going to get into aim mode. Let me medicate you. Administering it. I don't know how many hits it's going to take. Looks like two. Medication's been successful. Sorry. In the face probably doesn't feel all that great, but uh, bam, there it is. All right. We are uh, we're good to go. Complete DFW headquarters by increasing asset rating. Sending out Dr. expeditions Dua, to capture new species and ensuring they're comfortably enclosed. I've just received enclosed. word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Okay. Can you confirm? Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems it's and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Take a look at our expedition map. Looks like there's been four sightings of Cynoceratops, Parasaurolophus, Baryonyx, Chasmosaurus, Taurosaurus, Slope Closures. I mean, we, we want to get the ski slopes back open for our people. So we're going to throw, uh, we need two, two mechanicals. We'll send these two out. Start the task kind of grand. Go out and get them. Can we, I mean, we could hire another scientist and maybe do more at once. So let's go into our, uh, our scientists, recruit a new one that specializes in logistics. So there's a four cog and eight cog, Elizabeth Kwan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and recruit you. We're going to be careful about our money, but we should be good. And I think, can we send out two expeditions at once? I'm going to, oh no, expedition limit's been reached. That's okay. She's still going to be worth it. I'm just going to set up all of our uh, our things in the meantime. Let's add, you know, some water in here. Some water over here. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got uh, three open enclosures. Plenty of space to bring people in. Five Taurosauruses. A one, one evaded capture. So we got four to five. That's good. We're going to transport these boys. I would imagine they're going to be able to go in the same place. And I wonder, I wonder if they'd be able to go with these guys. We'll, we'll, I'm going to say Asset one, two, three. In progress. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to go Asset with four over here. Underway. We'll see, we'll see how it works. Obviously he, I mean, the, the guy that's by himself is not going to be happy because they, they like to be in groups, but I'm, I'm wondering if he has a group of four with him, if they're going to be able to cohabitate, work together, be together. Hopefully that'll be a good thing. Welcome home, buddy. I feel like you're on the wrong side of the fence, but it's going to be okay. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't fight or anything like that. I'm going to get the, uh, the ranger team. I'm going to bring them over here where we're going to cancel this and add him. Let's come see... Oh gosh, they are <laughs> getting chased down right now. We can we add another a response facility? I honestly I feel like that would be in our best interest if we put one over here cuz we're just we're getting a lot of dinosaurs at this point. Another team is going to cost more money, but it's 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 going to be worth it. Just feel bad that these guys have to manage this entire park. But yeah, all these guys all seem pretty chill. I hope we'll see. I'm going to say let's add a task. Let's, let's go do all three of these guys. Next. Let me see what he's got going on. So he's sick. He's lonely. Population. Cohab is fine. He's got hookworms. I hope he doesn't spread that though. Okay. So I think he wants a little bit more forest and a little bit more ground fiber. Can we make all of this work is the question. If we add ground fiber all throughout... Is that going to make him happier? Looks like we hit ground fiber. He wants a little bit of forest, though. I don't know if the other guys are going to like the forest, though. So we're going to add some forest in here. I don't think it's going to work. I think what we've got to do, we've got to... Uh, we're going to have to get the rangers out here. We're going to have to trank him. And we're going to have to move him. Go trank him. 
Go take care of it. It's gonna be fine. Only a couple of these guys are sick, which is nice, but it's it we're we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this. Let me see. Oh shoot. We're gonna have to resupply this. I'm gonna fill it up all the way. We ran out of, of electricity there for a second. I think we're gonna have to resupply this one as well. I wish somebody could auto resupply all these. So we've got that. We wanna get our science center on hookworms. So we're gonna go to our health. We're gonna work on not tuberculosis. Do we see hookworms? Hookworms medication. To unlock it, we're gonna have to disinfect the feeder infected with hookworms. So we're gonna have to have them feed on something and then fix it. Let's move this guy over here. We're definitely gonna need some more fibrous cover as well as, as forest. So let's add a bunch of forest in here. Make these guys happy. And then we're gonna want uh, brown fiber, I think. Is that what they like? Add this all over the place. Let me see. Hookworms, ground fiber, everything's good. Okay. These guys are solid. We, uh, I guess we can, we can work on our next expedition. We're going to have to add some more dinosaurs. Chasmosaurus. Diplodocus. Baryonyx. Deinonychus. Sinoceratops. Paraceralophus. <laughs> Go with a Brachiosaurus. So I'm really confused how we're supposed to disinfect a feeder. Because, I mean, obviously these guys are vegetarians. Um, I, if I put this down, will it have... Will, will the, I mean, obviously they're not going to eat it. But eventually, will this get hookworms? I'm not... I'm just not sh I'm not sure how to disinfect a feeder if, if they don't have it. Unless we put them in with the carnivore and then a carnivore gets it on on you know I, I i don't i don't there's no herbivore feeders they just they they eat the trees and stuff it says he's healing are we are they straight up not sick anymore or what's going on no ailments have been detected okay i weird i i honestly don't know what what happened there i'm going to get rid of that and we're we're good to go okay we're going to want to uh i guess let's resupply everyone Fill up, fill up. Let's uh, wait for these guys to finish. 51 more seconds, and we're going to be able to add in a new dino. Live capture. Let's see if it was successful. Beautiful. All right. We got a long neck. Going to transport him in here. Now, I he's they're pretty timid. I would imagine he's probably going to like it over here. I think, I think he's going to be chill. I think he's going to be able to hang out with the Ankylosaurus. We'll see what happens. He's going to want some tall trees. So we might have to get creative with with how we work that out, but I mean, there's some some decent sized trees in here, so we'll see, we'll see how this works. We've got the ranger team in here; they're doing a status check. As soon as this guy lands, I'm gonna make sure we uh, we do a status check on him as well. Hold on, boys. Uh, let me let me get control here. Seems like we're in a bit of a precarious position in the water. I'm gonna send you over into the uh, the abyss over here. We just stay over there for a second. Look at the size of this monster, dude. Just amazing. All right, let's uh, let's grab you. Add a task. We're gonna cancel whatever you're doing over here. Don't do that and come do this. Nope. Don't don't do the other one. Don't do the Brachiosaurus. All right, he's got an ailment. We're gonna find out what it is right now. His comfort's at 70%. Looks like we need a little bit more area. Tall nut and forest. Interesting. So he would actually be a little bit happier in this one. I don't know if we're gonna be able. To, ah, we could expand it. Okay, I've I've got a I've got a plan here. Let me get my uh let me get my rangers. We're gonna get our capture team. We're gonna go trank him. We're gonna move him over to this one. And what we're gonna do is we are going to delete Okaz. Take these out. And then we're gonna be able to. To connect these. Beautiful. So we've got this big thing. And then he's... What else did he need? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're good. We should be good, right? Yeah, we're good. Everything's connected. This, he's not a danger to guess. Guess are good. So he wants tall nut and forest. We're going to have to add some tall nut for sure. But uh, we should already have plenty, plenty of forest. So we're going to throw him over here. He's going to have a lot more space. We need to look in for tall nut. Fruit and nuts. Ground fruit. Tall nut. We can throw a lot of this over in the corner. Should make him happy. Everyone else still should be good, hopefully. Let's keep an eye on these guys. See what they've got going on. Yeah, they're still, they're still content with everything going on. Excited to see their new neighbor coming over. It should be good. 
This is, gonna be honest, kind of a bit of a tall order. Like, there's, we need a lot of dinos to be able to get to this, this 3,000 that they're, they're recommending. But that's okay. Set that up there. Be able to put another gate. Definitely gonna want to do a, uh, a Jenny. Could probably put this over yonder. That's gonna be set up. Let me see how he's doing. Looks like his comfort's at 70. He's missing some tall nuts. I thought I put a bunch of tall nut. He needs a little bit more forest and still more area. You are a problem child. The way we're gonna fix this is to bring this out this way. Put it right along the, the walkway here. Bang. We got four Sinoceratops coming in. All four have been captured. All right, uh, I'm gonna say give me two minutes. I'll get back to you in a sec. Move these guys. See, this says tall nut here. I'm throwing this everywhere. You've, you've got plenty of tall nut. Have you just not realized it yet? The whole left side over there is tall nut. It's not working. What's he sick with? Ailment, bracken. Send the MV. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got to send the MVU. I don't think we sent the MVU on the last ones, and I think that was, that was part of our problem. So we're going to send our mobile vet unit. Let's go see what we've got going on with the... Uh, the Brachio. Eventually, he's going to get out of the forest here. Hopefully, he sees that there's a boatload of tall nuts over here. You're good, dude. Look, look at all these nuts. They're all over the place. This game is so beautiful, dude. Look, Just look at this. So, he's going to be somewhere. He's somewhere back in here. Are you, are you playing hide and seek with me right now? Sinoceratops. All right, let's let's move these guys in. Do we think they're gonna be good over here? I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna put one there and three over here just to be safe. Here we go. Hello, big boy. All right, looks like you're you're kind of struggling a little bit. You are not. Having... Oh, we don't, we don't want to shoot at you. We want to. Uh, we just want to figure out what's going on. Oh, maybe we do want to shoot at you. Okay. So he's hurt. Did you hurt yourself back there? At least you, he's up to 29% tall nut. He's finding the tall nuts currently. So that's that's good. We're gonna have to, to tranquilize him and move him to a paleo medical facility. From com, he's, he had, who, who did he get into combat with? Do these guys not like him? Looks like they're good. Cohabitation is fine. I don't know what he, he, he got in, into combat with a tree. That's fine. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have to get our ranger facility out. We're gonna have to trank him and move him. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh no 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 we've got a tornado no 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 Oh my god Oh sweet Jesus Are you kidding me? Alright we we gotta we gotta refix these fences. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta we gotta get the Ranger team out here. Task slots are full. Oh this is not good. We 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 never we never built a uh, a safety thing. I knew we were gonna need that. All right, let's let's put this over here. Calm and collected. That's how I live my life. Other than you know when I'm being chased by dinosaurs or molten lava. Look at these poor guys. We're good. Okay, we're we're fine. It's good. It's gonna be okay. Okay, we we gotta we gotta get the ranger team out here. Fix this. Fix this. Shoot. Is he is he dead? Oh, he's no, he's he's tranked. We wanted him tranked. Okay, we're gonna move him to the medical facility. This is actually one of the the best case things we could have done. I'm gonna s send them over here, and we. I mean, I like nobody got out. There's, there's, you know, no guests were hurt. We definitely need to start building the emergency shelter as as much as possible. But um, we're good. I want to do a status check on this guy. We're gonna see. If all of his friends are cool with him. Let's see what these guys need. They're m missing ground fiber and forest. They're going to like ground fiber and forest. Shoot. Maybe they could go in here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So we got ground fiber and forest down. These guys are all good. I'm hoping. I mean, they don't They don't need too much forest, right? I'm. Uh, they actually kind of need quite a bit. I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to trank them and move them. We're just going to have to keep everyone, everyone separate. Tranquilize this guy, yeah, and we're gonna transport him. So we've got some uh, Dynanicus coming in, which is really exciting because those are kind of like raptors. So I'm gonna set these up here. We're definitely gonna want to do some uh, some feeders, some live feeders, 
Do maybe a few a few goats in here. Looks good. I would think those guys probably... Uh, raptors kind of like forests, don't they? I'm not 100% sure. I believe this guy... He's, he's good to go. He's ready for transport, so we're going to pick him up. How do we transport him? Transport him. There we go. We're going to move him back in here. He's been healed. And, uh, and yeah, the Dynanicus are in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. So we're going to go pick these guys up. Four of them. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get all four. Put all four in here. That should be a nice addition to our uh, our park. We are... I um, mean, it's making me nervous. 81,000 profit per minute. Obviously, the tornado did not help with that. But it's okay. So we got four out of four of these guys. Let's transport them. Put them in here. We're already good to go. One, two, three, and four. I mean, everything is completely full. We might have to start expanding this way. I'm going to start making a new enclosure just in case. I don't know if we'll need it, but better to be safe than sorry. Definitely put in some, uh, some viewing galleries for each of these. People are going to want to be able to see our, uh, our raptors. Beautiful. We've already got goats. I mean, we probably need a uh, ranger outpost over here to make sure these guys are being covered. Put that there. We can assign these guys to that. Going to check on our Brachiosaurus over here. It says he's missing some forest, and he still wants more area and more tall nut. All right, you know what? If you're at 70% comfort, I honestly don't care. You you are okay, okay. kind of a POS. Okay, making progress. But there's always more to be done, for you anyway. <laughs> Take this next objective, for example. I'm gonna go ahead and do status checks on all four of these guys. Sometimes if they're next to each other, it's really hard, but okay. Ensure all captured dinosaurs have 80% comfort for the next one minute and 30 seconds. And uh, this guy is not not gonna make that. We're gonna have to move him. I'm, I'm gonna trank him. He's literally been the biggest POS in, in the entire thing. We're, we're gonna trank him. I'm going to give him the most ridiculously large thing. Please, please tell me if this isn't enough space for you. Because you, you are the biggest diva that I've ever worked with. Look at that. All right. You've got that. Let me let me go ahead and, and delete these. Put that there. We're going to keep all the forest in here. And then literally everything else is, is going to be your stupid tall nuts. Where are the tall, tall nuts? Right here. All right. We're going to max this out. Just tall nut everywhere. There is no way you can be upset about this now. Please stop asking me to do anything for you. A little bit of water. We're good. Okay, so it looks like these guys are... They've got an undiagnosed ailment. So we're going to want to... Uh, let's bring a ranger squad out. Do a status check on these two. And then we're also going to want to bring our mobile vet unit out. We're going to want to check these two out. See what they've got going on. Apart from that, are they happy? Area's good. Population's good. Water, open space. They need more meat. Forest. They could use a little bit of forest. Everything else is good. Okay, so let's... Maybe the... I don't think they like... They don't like the goats. They don't like the prey. They just want their meat given to them. Kind of like, uh... I don't know. Bella. My cat. So let's see. They've got... They're diseased with tuberculosis. So we're going to want to go into our... Uh, into our research. We're going to want to figure out tuberculosis here, which we already have. Let's put our best scientists on it. Start the task. That'll be done in a minute 30 to be able to heal them and then we should i mean we we honestly might beat this before that even happens but at least uh at least we're working towards it okay things are good did this guy land yet nope he's going across mr diva good good luck in your new home by yourself i hope you're super lonely because you, you really made things hard for me are you freaking kidding me he's got tuberculosis now <sighs> These guys are all the way over there. What are these guys doing? They're at the base. All right, you you come over here. Do a status check. This, oh, oh, it's going back down again. It paused for a minute because he wasn't upset, but he he literally needs to slowly walk through and see all the nuts. Like, it, he doesn't just know what's around him. He can't see it. He's very nearsighted. He's got to witness it, it all for himself. I think we're going to beat this before we end up getting a tuberculosis cure. Or medicine. Maybe not a cure, but we'll see. Pennsylvania's done. That's it. All right. I'm going to see you guys in our next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. My goodness. Brachiosaurus is my worst enemy.